And you look her in the eyes. And you go, you know, baby, I love you. But more than that, I know God loves you. And I know what I see in you is amazing. But what I see, what, what God sees in you is incredible. So it's my job to try to pull out the destiny that's inside of you in any way I can. And so you begin to just ask the Lord to show you what it is that's inside of her that needs to be still yet revealed. You say, okay, well, I know one of those things is God's got leadership in you. God's got words that he's wanting to pull out of you. He's got some teaching that he wants to give to other ladies. And there's desperate ladies in this world that have been deeply wounded. And I see in you a healer. You're a healer. And with God's divine design, you're going to heal the lives of women. And I see that in you. And I'm, I'm so proud to see that in you. But I'm going to pray that over you, that God would pull out of you who you really are. And then I know there's going to be times where you get discouraged or you feel like, am I really making a difference? Or you'll feel a little insecure as all of us do from time to time. And you go, well, how am I supposed to help hurting women if I'm hurting myself? And I'm here to tell you that I'm with you in the journey and I'm going to fight with you. But I will also want you to know God sees that. And the raw, real you and those challenges that you might face are going to be the, the, the very thing that helps other women because out of your pain, you're going to help other women find their purpose. And so I just, I want you to know that. I want you to know that God's divine design is the most attractive thing to me. You're, you're, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful in every way. But there's a divine design in you that draws me to you. And as you get close to God, when I see you, when I wake up in the morning and I see you at, on the couch, studying through your notes, going through the Bible, praying for our children, crying out to God on behalf of our kids, that, that blesses me. It motivates me to try to be a better man. I just want you to know you're a blessing. And I love you. And I value you. So I'm going to pray over you that, that and, and yeah, I'm using this as a model, but in, in my mind, they're not even here. But I just, I'm going to speak over you as a, a model so that other guys will know here's what you're supposed to do. And, and I don't do this nearly enough as I should. I'm going to be honest in front of them and in front of you. I, I should do this more often. But I'm just going to continue to speak life over you. Lord Jesus, I love my wife and I just speak life over her. And I call out every good thing in her Every good and perfect gift that comes from above, I speak that over her. And God, for some of these other guys who don't seem to know how to say it or the words to say it, it doesn't matter. It's not about words. It's, it's about life. So I speak life over her today, and I thank you that you're calling out. You're calling her up and calling her out. You're calling her up to get closer to you, to release revival over this generation and even over this house at Dothan First, but you're also uh, revealing to her who she is so that she can become all that you want her to be so that she can help other women to be who they're called to be. The divine destiny, I pray, we, I call it out of her in Jesus' name. I place a demand on the anointing of God that's inside of her life to be all that she's called to be, to do all that she's called to do, to function as a woman of God in faith. And that this next season I call out of her will be the most fruitful of all seasons that she's ever known. And that she won't walk in her own strength, but she'll walk in your strength. She'll be guided by your Holy Spirit. She'll be led by your truth biblically. To be a mother, a wife, but more than that, to be a child of the living God. I speak to the, de the, to the divine destiny that's in here, spirit to spirit. I speak over her life, health, freedom. I speak over her strength, courage, and faith. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.